Yo, hold up. I'm about to turn this corner and just blast this man right in the face. Or not. So I'm really, really hoping that this video gets uploaded earlier than normal. As of lately, a lot of my videos have been getting uploaded at like 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm just shooting for 9 o'clock, all right? I'm just praying that this video gets uploaded before like too late. Uh, I don't know what the deal is lately. How did this man know I was there? Like he just whipped the... Yeah, like that shit ain't sketchy as fuck, buddy. Yeah, that looks hella suspicious. No way that this young man just did this shit to me. No, he misses the shot, tosses the C4. I, I can't believe what I just fucking witnessed! I don't even have words for what just happened in that game, but it, it wasn't good. But real quick, I really wanted to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. That is absolutely just insane, dude. I'm so thankful and lucky that I have people that watch my videos and that subscribe to my channel. And hitting 500 subscribers is just absolutely insane to me. Like, I, I'm just so happy and thankful. Seriously, guys, I, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support recently. It's been a really long time since I've done a Q&A, so over on Twitter, I asked if you guys would be interested in me doing a Q&A. So if you guys would be down for a Q&A, use hashtag AskPrem over on Twitter, or you guys can leave it down in the comment section. I'm gonna do this Q&A tomorrow, so I have like a little bit more time to get like questions and shit like that. I love Drop Zone, but it's just so sweaty today. So yeah, I'll be uploading that Q&A tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm just so happy that I got to 500 subscribers, man. Over the past couple of days, I just sat and watched my sub count grow little by little, and I was just so close to 500 so many times, and then I ended up hitting it. It's just honestly insane, dude. I, I'm, I'm so fucking happy. So yeah, next stop, either 750 or 1,000, and I'm, I'm so excited to hit those goals. Yep, here we go, back with the lag shit. I might go play Black Ops 4 because I'm having an issue in these games. I'm having an issue on MW3. I came back on the MW3 just to make this video today. Like, I didn't really have a desire to play this shit at all. Just because I wanted to do, like, an old throwback. But yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm starting to get sick again, which is fucking fantastic. The last time I was sick, I ended up missing, like, three days or four days of videos. I just felt like dog shit the entire time. I look like dog shit. I I'm seriously not ready to do this shit over again. Like, I just got my voice back last week to normal, and now it's starting to get, like, shit again. It's so fucking annoying getting sick is like one of the most aggravating because you cannot control it You just get sick or you have like these allergies flowing through your body I actually wonder if you can control it Like if you just stay inside all day and don't ever leave your house Can you not have like sickness or allergies or some shit? I never really thought about that shit Like if you sit in a bubble your entire life, do you never get sick? Because that's some actually fucking dope shit if I could get away with that If I lived in a bubble people would call me bubble boy and try to pop my bubble and shit like that And I'm just not no fuck that I'm not really dealing with all that bullshit So the main reason why I got back on mw3 today is because because I had a little story time, alright? It's been so long since I've done a story time, like a proper story time, going back to the MW3 days. This one is a little bit different, alright? I guess it's more of like a situation that I was put in. This is kind of like a story time of how I met one of the most rudest fucking managers at a pizza joint that I've ever met in my entire life. Like, this guy was actually a fucking asshole. This guy was just such a jerk that I just wanted to talk about it. So the other day, I ended up calling this pizza place to get a delivery order sent to me, and all I wanted was just like two pepperoni pizzas. That's all I wanted, just two pepperoni pizzas so I could have some for lunch, and, you know, dinner that night, and everything would be good. Everything would be fine. I didn't think it was gonna be, like, that big of an issue until I called this place. Then it was a big fucking issue, all right? I called this pizza place. I sat on the phone on hold for, like, 15 to 20 minutes. I definitely could have ordered from somewhere else, but the last time I had this pizza, I was just like, damn, it's so good that I gotta get it again. So the guy ends up picking up his phone and says he's sorry because they've had a lot of issues with their computers, and I was like, no, I completely understand. Shit happens, you know, I'm not gonna, like, hold it against you guys. Well, I'm telling this guy it was all right for him to have me on hold and shit like that. Like, I completely understand, like, the situation stuff he cuts me off and he's like yo dude will you just order i'm not here to have a chit chat with you all right and i'm like oh it's not like i just sat on hold for like 20 fucking minutes for you to be rude to me in like the first five seconds but yeah dude sure all i want is just two pepperoni pizzas that's it and he's like all right what sides do you want with it do you want any dipping sauce do you want any like wings or some shit i'm like no just the two large pepperoni pizzas he's like all right well do you want them for delivery or carry out i'm like i would like it delivered to my apartment please this entire time i'm ordering this meal right this guy's got like this major ass attitude for no reason. Every single time that I'd like tell him what I wanted or where I wanted it to go and shit like that, he'd always respond with this like extremely weird and just dickish tone of voice. I give him my address. He's like, is that an apartment complex or is that a house? I need to know. I was like, all right, that's an apartment complex. He's like, all right, what building are you in? I'm like, okay, well, I end up telling him what building I'm at and he's like, all right, what else do I need to know to how to get to your place? Because I can't find it on the GPS that I'm typing it into for my driver. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Like, that's how I tell everybody what my address is and they can always find it. And he's like, dude, you know what? Just give 
give me a second. I'm gonna put you back on hold. I'll be right back. I was like, all right, dude, it's like Thursday night at nine o'clock, and I'm pretty sure you guys aren't like extremely swamped or anything like that. He comes back like 10 minutes later telling me that they're still having issues trying to find my apartment. So I tell him like the name of like my apartment complex, like the company name. He's like, all right, yeah, I found the address to that. I don't know why I can't get the address from you correctly. You live there, don't you? Crazy part of this shit is like this manager is like yelling at me, right? He's like screaming at me because I didn't give him the correct address, even though I gave him my own address. I can start to hear behind him that the driver is now talking to him, telling him just to calm down. The address was right. His phone just wasn't working right. The driver ended up finding my address and everything was fine. I could just hear the manager yelling at the driver and the driver yelling back at the manager. The driver's like defending me saying that I've done nothing wrong and I've told him the address. Like I fucking clearly told him the address that I have. I don't know why this person thought that I was lying about my address or some shit. The manager ends up getting back on the phone with me after being extremely pissed off with his driver and he's got like the worst and I mean worst fucking attitude. Is that gonna be cash or fucking credit? I was probably on the phone with this guy for about 30 minutes until my pizza even started getting made. Straight up sat through this entire phone call and this guy just being extremely pissed and then him coming back on the phone being like alright is that gonna be cash or fucking credit? Kind of done with this. I'll, I'll give you my card number. So I give him my card number right? Everything is going good and then he asks me for a zip code or something like that. I was giving this guy my zip code to like where I live currently instead of where I used to live and he just keeps telling me it's not it man that's not it man like you're not giving me the right zip code I cannot complete this purchase and I'm just sitting here like dude I'm trying my hardest to make this go super smooth with you screaming at me and shit I can't do this I needed to give the guy the zip code from where I used to live not where I live currently as soon as I give him the zip code he goes dude do you not know how to order a fucking pizza do you not like know how to order delivery because this is actually fucking ridiculous at this point I'm just surprised that this guy's being in such an asshole to me like I seriously just tried to order a pizza from this small ass restaurant and he's just being a complete dick I was like I'm just trying to order two pizzas I really enjoy your guys's pizzas but with you guys being dicks to me like this I I'm seriously not gonna want to order here ever again I really like the restaurant too like I really like the pizzas that I get from there this manager guy or whatever he's just calling me an idiot saying that I don't know how to order anything for delivery and I'm just trying to like apologize that I messed up I'm just like trying to like smooth this all over I just have like such a bad weakness for pizza that I will give in to anything like I will let you straight just shit all over over my bed fuck my setup up but if you come back and apologize to me with a pizza everything is forgiven all right i think i love pizza more than i love booty no that's actually impossible i love booty way more than i love pizza if i had some big booty latina come to my house with a pizza i could die happy all right like if i get a big booty latina to come over to my house deliver pizza to me and then watch an episode of naruto or two yo i could fucking die the man on the moon all right like i would be the most happiest kid alive it's like when you go to the candy store and you're like six years old and your mom's just like go ape shit get whatever the fuck you want like that's me right now just thinking about this shit. I ended up paying for this pizza. Everything got resolved. So the kid that was defending me before against his boss or his manager or whatever, the driver, the delivery kid, he ends up calling me and he's like, hey dude, I'm gonna be there really early with your pizza. I'm gonna make sure I write a report on my manager because the way he was talking to you, he just tells me like he's really sorry for like how his manager treated me. The weirdest thing was he was like talking to me on his way to my house. This kid's telling me that he's planning on quitting his job just because his manager's such a dick, just doesn't enjoy working at this place anymore just because of this manager person. So the delivery driver finally gets to my place. I meet him outside and he's just telling me that he's really sorry. He just felt really bad for the way that I got talked to and shit like that. I made sure that I gave him $50 as a tip just because he was so sympathetic. He was super nice. He made sure to call me and make sure everything was good and shit like that. That's somebody that you just normally don't run into. Told him not to worry about his boss. Maybe his boss is just having a bad day and if his boss is a real big dickhead like that all the time, try to find a different job and just keep that job while you're looking for another job and he's gonna get like the most amazing feeling when he tells his boss to suck his dick and he's quitting like on the spot to go get a different job the best feeling in the world to tell somebody to fuck off because you already have another job lined up fuck that manager he was a complete dickhead i don't think i'll be ordering pizza from there again at least the pizza was good though so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that little story time let me know if you guys have ever had an experience like that before i always run into these rude ass people where i live but yeah if you guys want to be in the q a use hashtag ask prem down in the comment section or over on twitter leave any questions you guys have for me i'm down to answer pretty much anything like ask me the weirdest shit yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe if you guys feel like it hope the rest of your day is the absolute best of your day guys as always thank you so much for watching peace peace my blood of pie oh shit fuck you oh no 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 cause it there we go oh my god what leave me the fuck alone